Yo, what is going on guys? This is Professor Loki. In this video, I decided to place a new character, because why not? So we're playing Anubis. We're playing Anubis. I got them uh, good old Anubis stats. Whatever. So, um, I play Anubis uh, mostly in Conquest. I played a little bit, like, I think maybe like 10 games on Arena. Uh, I'm not an Arena, I'm not, I'm, I'm definitely not an Arena player. I don't like Arena. That game is... That game mode is just all you do is just kill players. It's not interest. It's not fun. It gets boring. So, I like Conquest, Clash. Clash is like a mix of like Siege with I don't know better like Conquest. I think. Anyway, um, so we're going to be building Anubis, but my way. Um, so what I like to do with Anubis is um, <clears throat> I like to build like I think two or three lifesteal items, and then I just build like less like rest defense. So that's how I'm going to be building as Anubis. Uh, so, yeah. Their team kind of counters me. Feels bad a little bit. Uh, if I just, like, standing still just sucks with Anubis. I honestly kind of, like, don't like the whole standing still concept. I really wish they could change that. But, um... But I don't know. That would make him too strong. Oh, shoot. I got to fix my HUD editor, huh? Because I made a little uh, secret video that I'll be talking about later, probably. I don't know. It's about Loki. Sorry, guys. Just hold up. Apply. Oh, shoot. All right. <clears throat> oh, look at that. I'm so useful. So useful. My frame rates are dropping a little bit. Uh, just really hope this doesn't really mess up my gameplay. So as Anubis, you have to be, like, really careful with what you do. Um... You can't, uh, you can't just do whatever you want to, like, compared to Loki, you can do a little bit, you're more free, just a little bit. Oh my god, that minion's gonna bother me. Ugh, I need that, I need, I need the minion. Woo! I don't know why I made it out live, but. All right, saved my friend. All right, that was good. Did one tick of damage, all that mattered. It's gonna like life steal all that up. Oh, plus two heal health, dude. Mm. I'm surprised I didn't die there, honestly. Um, I would assume they would focus me because I'm Anubis. Okay, am I lagging now? Okay. Really hope I'm not. Anyway, I have no mana or really anything. All right, good, clear. I'm level five. Gonna go back with Bancrofts, which is good. Uh, and I'm also gonna get. Please don't poke me. Oh, look, oh, look at that Thor dude protecting me and stuff. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna get Thagum. Thagum's better, um, in my opinion. Eh, screw it. Uh, <laughs> I'm only going for Bancrofts because it provides more power, technically. And uh, the reason why Bancrofts is still a good item on Anubis is because since he stands still, like Anubis will most likely like lose health right so every time he loses health he gains power with Bancrofts uh, so that's good but besides that I definitely put I would definitely choose Pythagoras on any other god uh, shoot <laughs> I don't have abilities ah, I should have leaded him toward that uh, whatever oh shoot alright so you guys are probably wondering like okay so my build's gonna be this right it's gonna be three lifesteal items one movement speed and it's not gonna be boots I'm not getting I don't like getting boots on Anubis I really see no point of getting boots on Anubis um besides in conquest but that's a little different um in these game modes I really don't really understand the point of conquest uh not conquest but um wait what oh that phantom like little well, Ross phantom like oh wait wait what Oh, I, I landed between them. I was hoping if I land between, I'll probably get one or something like that, but nah, guess not. Oh, these frame tree chops are killing me a little bit. Oh, shoot, he went for it. <laughs> it don't matter, dude. Anubis is so weak. Um... All right, let's get into uh, boots, not boots, uh, what's it called? All right, I'm a Sipulus. So in this build, I'm not getting any, any single pen because uh, my passive already has a built-in pen. Uh, so I don't think it is necessary. Now, but obviously, this is not a good build for Anubis. 
I just like to build whatever I want because Anubis is so bad. Um, like he, he's I would consider him one of the worst gods in this game. Um, he's definitely like he's so much fun, but uh, standing still like you don't like Hyrule does not realize when they made Anubis's kid they did not realize that standing still is such a problem. And back then like season zero or whatever like in the beta, it wasn't really a big problem, but and I, Anubis was like really strong too. And, you know, um, they even buffed him, like, twice. They made his ultimate, like, a lot better. Like, he does 0 0.1 point, like, second dot rather than, like, 0 0.3, I think. Um, but they made his slow weird. Uh, I think they made that 25% at all ranks, right? Um, hold on, I don't want to check right now. Okay. Um, yeah, 25. It used to be, like, 35%, I'm pretty sure. So they, d they nerfed that. Okay, good. Oh, dude, uh, Erling is so squishy. Ooh, I can totally get a kill here. It's going to clear the wave. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if I even try to hit uh, on her. He was behind a wall. <coughs> I'm kind of sick. I'm not, I don't feel sick, but I've been coughing a lot for no reason. I don't know why. It's been coughing. And it's not like it's normal coughs, like mucus kind of coughs, like you. I don't feel sick whatsoever, and it's been like I've been coughing for like a week straight. I don't know what's wrong with me. And we're gonna get a rod of Asipulus. Um Then we're going to go into a lifesteal item, another lifesteal item, and the rest is gonna be defense. We're gonna get high of the urchin plus maybe um, uh, what's this called? Spirit robe. So we'll have 20% cooldown reduction at max. I'm pretty sure. We'll have 10% from Pythagoras, 10% from the Spirit Robe, 20% total. Not bad. I'm going to get Divine, obviously. Oh, he's dead, bye. That was great. Going to get some props to the support. That was all support right there. I just did the damage, nothing really else. Got no abilities. I'm good. <laughs> I don't wanna. Okay. I'm out of mana. All right, so that was good. So what I did as use my uh, use my three, um, and use my ult three for the slow, and my ult just for the burst. As soon as Thor landed, that was good synergy right there. Good combo. Uh, okay, so now we're going to more life steal. The basically the whole point of this build is to deal a lot of is to deal moderate amount of damage while having high sustain, and high sustain as in life steal and defense. So you won't get focused. I, I, I realize as soon as I start building defense, no, and people just ignored me. And if people ignore you, you're free to cast without having so much people on your butts. But if you build pure damage, then yeah, it's like you mess up once, it's game over. I'm dead here. Got baited hard. Not baited. I knew I was going to die. I'm, okay, well. I knew I was going to die, but or I had a feeling like, oh, I'm just going to get killed here, but I, I don't care. When I see a red buff on the floor, I want to pick it up for some reason. I, I'm like a fly attracted to light, right? Like, I, I see a red buff, I'm attracted to it. At the same time, I also had, uh, I thought in the back of my head, like, my team might come and save me, but then I turn around and realize, oh, my team is, like, dead, so, or, like, half, almost near death, so. And it was my fault, definitely my fault, not theirs. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into Pythagoras, 90 power, it's going to be awesome. Let's just wait for this. There we go. Oh, I was just saying it's going to be so high, by the way. Like, we can just stand still and still, like, gain more health. And it's going to be awesome. Nubis' passive is so good for lifesteal. Lifesteal is obviously a requirement, or you're not utilizing uh, Nubis' passive. And again, I used two abilities on camp, so it feels bad. Uh, okay, I'm not going to use an ability here. What do they have? Oh, Ra doesn't even have... Okay, I can kill Ra. Pretty sure I can. <laughs> you don't... 
Uh, he doesn't have any defense, so that's why I just killed him instantly. Even if he does have defense, like, remember, Nubis does have, like, a natural built-in spear of Magus, like, built-in. So he does, he does steal protections. But that doesn't mean, like, you should not... Ooh, hot. All right, that was good. All right, every auto counts. All right, so I'm gonna life steal. Like, watch this. We're just gonna like. Mm. Well, that's not a lot, actually a lot of life steal. I only have ten, like eighteen percent right now. Shoot. Um, what is this? Wait, how much is this? Okay, we have twenty percent life steal. That's not much. With Anubis as passive, it's I don't know. Oh shoot. Oof. I can't do anything here. Doesn't matter. That was a good gank on Thor. Even if he doesn't get a kill, and he did, but even if he didn't get a kill, um, it wouldn't have matter. mattered. And it's got Aegis, actually. I hate... No, I hate Aegis so much. I, don't, I hate getting active. Active is so stupid. Um, I think it's so unfair. Just to be completely invincible. That's stupid, in my opinion. Uh, beads, I can understand because there's just so much CC in this game, but Aegis is the dumbest active in my opinion so i refuse to get it um so let's just get blink anubis i even like refuse to get beads sometimes as loki i like to get hog and sunder instead because i just like i don't see the point of getting beads on loki because if you're if you get stunned out of your one and you beads you're still gonna die because i mean you can't stealth again i mean sure you could ult but i'm pretty sure you can live enough to i mean it's just i don't think it's worth it if you get stunned out that's your problem All right. I get 48 life steal per auto. Watch this. Mm. Full HP. And then just do this. It's going to be like oh. Mm. Give me all that. It feels so you know how satisfying it is to like life steal all the way to back full to back to full HP. Like feels Oh shoot, I didn't even do that. Okay, fail. I can probably auto him like Ow. Nope. Life steal. Whew. Oh. Life steal just saved me right there. Life steal itself just saved me. I would have been negative health right now. Oof, that was good. All right. So let's get divine. And then we're done with the life steal. We got three uh, three life steals. We don't need four. I think there's like a limit, a cap. I don't know. But um, don't think it's necessary. We need defense. Oof. That was good. That was that was good right there. I don't know. Merc Mercury was, you know, I don't know what he was doing. Rod of Asipolis. So basically, like, I I'm pretty sure the passive of Rod is going to give me a lot of healing. I hope it applies to life still. If not, I feel pretty stupid. Um. Oh shoot. Okay. Feels bad. That was a fail. I thought I, I, I can't tell like the ending. I was trying to get uh, blink and kill the uh, what's his face. Mm, that life steal. I was trying to blink and kill. Okay, I beads and it still got a knock up. Beads too or late. Um, basically what I was trying to do is I was trying to blink and alt the Fafnir, but I can't tell. Like I don't know his backing animation that much, and I can't tell. Um, that Silla almost died. Luckily, his ult's down, though. I can't tell, um, like, how far into his ult animation, or his backing animation is, so I, I just guessed, and, eh, I was wrong. It's alright. It's a little silly mistake there. I'm gonna get it. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, we're getting hide, uh, hide next, because hide is so good. And then we're going to spirit rope for the... The reason why I get spirit rope is because it just provides protection generally, and it doesn't give you health, which is the only downside, but it gives you 20% crit. Let This item is like everything Anubis kind of needs. It gives you um, damage mitigation, which is also getting buffs, which is great. Um, so damage mitigation, uh, so whenever you're standing still and you get hit by something, and boom, you get mitigation instantly. And also because of the crowd, uh, crowd control, which is added on to, I don't know if it's actually added on, but... 
Look at that damage, by the way. And I have, like, no pen in my build. Because you really don't need to build pen against squishies. Like, honestly, Anubis is, should be a frontline bruiser. Or not frontline, but sort of, like, he is frontline, um, definitely. I would say he's, like, mid to frontline. Uh, I don't see Anubis playing backline. I mean, you can, but you have to be so freaking passive. God dang it, dude. Oh, don't matter. Missed my rap and stun, because I didn't know he would dash towards me, but whatever. I was going to use my one on him, but it wouldn't have matter. That's the problem with Anubis. He's so dead. I mean, he, I mean, he's a mage. Like, if you miss your abilities, you are kind of doomed. But, like, majority of mages have, like, built-in, like, sustain or, like, I don't know, something that allows them to help them escape. But Anubis has none of that. Honestly, I don't even think, I don't even see, like, the 30% reduction. Like, he, he, Nubis has passive 30% crowd control reduction, but I don't actually feel its effect, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't feel like it's actually, I don't feel, I think it's a full duration, in my opinion. I don't know if the percent stacks on. Like, I don't know if the spear rope, uh, I can blink here, actually. Oh, dude, not even. Oh, wait a second. Uh -huh. Honor's down. I think they did Gold Fury. I'm pretty sure. If not, we can, I can solo it. No, they did it, definitely. That's unfortunate. I'm going to get uh, blue buff to get more cooldown. Um, there we go. See, my damage is still high. It's not, like, you don't need to... What the hell? You don't need to build pure damage on really any god besides maybe Loki, because Loki just relies on that so much. But, um... I just think you can have a... Like, in this meta, you need to build both, like, tanky and, like, healthy tanky. Just anything that allows you to stay alive. It's like, generally, you'll just deal more damage if you just spam your abilities rather than having it all on one kit. Like, if you build pure damage, you rely on, like... If you miss, you're screwed, basically. But if you're tanky, you have more of an opportunity to, you know, be alive and just deal more damage, generally. So, let's... I'm gonna bees this so I can be immune to the slow. Watch this, guys. Mm. Half health. Now, the reason why I don't get full lifesteal on those guys is because I killed them too fast. If they had more HP, I could have definitely lifestealed more. But anyway, you guys can see right there and there, right? Yeah, um, <laughs> he's getting magical defense now. Um, I've lived without any power. Um, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Actually, no, I know why I lived. Bancroft's passive. Uh, that gave me, like, 100 power. It felt good. So I got, like, 200 power in total from Bancrofts at that HP. So technically Bancrofts and Lifesteal and just kinda saved my life there. That's why I kinda that's why I kinda say that. Blink is just like I don't know. That's good. Um uh, my ult's up in uh, <laughs> I can ult it to secure it. Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Guess they don't want me to be in the tower. I have divine, so. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude, that was great. That was great. <laughs> I bet he felt like so stupid at that. This guy has beads up every second. <laughs> I think this is game actually. I have ult in. Yeah, this is definitely game. See, I, okay, so you know what that Scylla just did there? She threw her two, which gives, um, which reduces the Titan's protections, uh, by magical protections by, like, what, 33%? Gotta do the last span at the end. GG. Um, never died. Nice. I died a lot, probably. Um, so, a cool thing about Scylla, guys, is that, remember, her two give, uh, reduces, at max strength, her two reduces, uh, magical, uh, protections, uh, based off, like, what, 20 or 30%. It's really good, so if you want to be a supportive type uh, Scylla, throw your two on the Titan or people or whatever, the tanky people. The tanks, just tanks. And everyone who has magical uh, powers can deal more damage. That's why I was kind of shredding through that. Because it was just Kabraken and me. Just Like, Kabraken doesn't deal enough damage on the Titan, but, um, but you guys saw I was just shredding through that because of the Scylla's two, which was really great. So, yeah, th that's going to be about it, guys. Uh, let's see about our player damage. Um... It's all right. Mm, kind of. I don't know. It's all right. Uh, so in this build, basically, again, it, okay, so this build obviously is not that good, obviously. But um, it's, the whole point of this build is just to be sustainful, especially for the healing. Have raw to boost. This can be entirely countered by just simply get Divine or Brawlers or Weakening Curse and Enemy Team. Just simple. Um, none of them got any anti-healing besides Weakening, which isn't really reliable. So that's how, um, oh no, they got Pestilence, but eh. Um, it's not that good. None of the Brawlers or Divine, which was bad. Ross should have gotten Divine. But, uh, but yeah, it, this is my actual opinion on Anubis. I honestly think that if Anubis has to have some type of defense in his kit, he can't just build pure health, or, I mean, pure health, uh, pure, uh, power. Um, because Anubis is not a character who can withstand that. Like, sure, you can use your, like, ult, and then you can use your 2-3 ult and kill someone instantly, but... Simple beads or ages can completely counteract that, and then boom, you're left vulnerable because you just, you know, you just used like the entire kit, which kind of sucks. Um, another little cool thing you can do is uh, get Gem of Isolation on Anubis, use your three and don't use your wrap. Use your two to slow and then use your ult to kill. You basically are using the uh, slowness of your three plus a Gem of Isolation to make the enemy so slow where you'll hit every single tick of your ultimate. Because you guys saw that I had no no penetration whatsoever in my build besides my passive, and I was able to 100 and 0 or raw, which was really cool, um, with just my ultimate, no three, nothing. It's pretty uh, pretty strong. Remember, Anubis ultimate does the most damage the entire game. So, yeah. So that's going to be about it, guys. If you have any comment questions or concern, and please tell me. If you guys want me to play any other gods, I might do Scylla next. Um, I don't know. I might just do Thanatos, Scylla. I, I, I'll just do whatever. Uh, just tell me a god you guys want me to play. And if this gets if this video gets popular enough, uh, then I will continue this uh, series or whatever this is called. So, as always, I'll see you all low-key and non-low-key players next time. Ha ha ha!